Let's go, guys. Game one, loser semifinals. We are in the top four right now of Switch Fest here in Southern California. These up heads coming out in space already. 59% in 10 seconds, 75. And it's crazy, you know, a lot of people, just because we've been seeing a lot of great Fox players showing like creativity in Fox's combo game that Larry Lur, you know, probably not capable of actually stringing together beautiful combos. No way, man. Larry got the creative stuff too. I said the up heads from Como himself. It's definitely something that you can't sleep or pretty much evened up this game immediately with that sequence. There it is again, caught off stage. Yeah, so watch out, man. There's so many good tools, right? You have the blade beam, you have the neutral air. Oh, oh he runs up and does it, but drops out of the limit cross slash. And there's a blade beam putting Larry in a weird spot. Again, how many clips? How many clips? Four. Finally. But oh, that was a forward air. That has a bit of wind-up, so I was surprised that we saw that one. Probably thought there was enough uh, cooldown. Yeah. Nice cross-up up hand coming up from Como. It was so close. That's an opportunity. Yep, Larry punishing in the nick of time with that down smash. Como trying to see if he could get a bait on Larry. You know, when it comes to cloud and neutral, they do tend to like to go for that charge just to see if they can like force it to even approach, right? Good DI right there by Komo here. Trying to get out there and come back on skate. There it is. So, so fast too, dude. Yeah. He hugely plays back at only 10% now. Pretty much an even game between these two. How are they going to respond to each other this time? Like finally wow. getting into position to punish that illusion. Very damaging option too. Beautiful with punish, but not able to continue the combo. Nice retreat to the platform. Punishing that uh, attempt to juggle with the down air. Early jump right there by Komura Kiri and that neutral air was only needed to put Larry off stage. But Larry fighting back. Trying a couple of attack options with another neutral air but lands a little bit too early with it. There's again. Juggles from Larry Lur. Non-stop. Reversed by Komura Kiri. Nice repositioning right there with movement by Komura Kiri. Chunky fan coming out. Oh, it almost looked like he landed on stage. Wow, that forward tilt looked quite punishable. But there, there we go. Again caught and catch the air dodge, but doesn't get second hit. The crowd goes absolutely crazy seeing that Larry wasn't able to get that finish. Yep, that's definitely going inside, but didn't punish the combo though. No punish. Oh, we have to grab. And are we going to see a neutral air? Oh, wow. Oh, we are going to see a back air instead coming out from Larry Lur taking game one. Honestly, very smart option because what if he went for the neutral air and there wasn't that much hits done, right? Mm -hmm. it, it probably would have ended up with a situation where Como could potentially try to recover on the platform that was off stage. So, potentially, yes. Uh oh, and Larry dropping his prize controller in tournament. You know, uh, <laughs> you don't let those things happen, man. It could potentially lead to your downfall in tournament. Yeah, let's hope that this won't lead any to, <laughs> to any kind of <laughs> terrible misinputs from Larry Lur. Running back to town at City. Let's go. Immediate pivot grab, dude. Immediately wanting to get Komori Kiri off stage. Again, Komori Kiri making sure to go for that snap. But that, that dash attack, dude, it's just so scary to deal with. So fast. Single digit in frames when it comes to the startup. Yeah, the frame ball, one of the fastest in the game. Mm. Just so, so versatile. Fox's ability to just kind of get into your space thanks to his incredible movement speed and frame data is just so, so threatening. Even some of the best characters in the game have trouble dealing with it. It's true. Trading with the neutral air right there. Wow, that neutral air's range is so great. Okay, no air dodge. Oh! But a great catch on the landing with that limit cross slash. Let's it rip, but not, not stop just yet. Yep, and there we have it, the, the reverse neutral air. This time, Larry mixing up the timing, going for the Firefox. Oh, missing the timing of these illusions. Just a little bit off on the mark in some instances. Excellent use of the cross slash to get back onto the stage. Once again, Combo is the only cloud that I've really seen use that, especially to that, that degree. Yeah, very successful in getting that. Larry Lur, yes, there it is. Beautiful play coming out from Larry, catching that air dodge incredibly well. So smart, just instilling fear in Komura Kiri and catching him in the nick of time. But the forward tail enough what? to take the stock towards the eye. Dude, that was Larry the part. most silent of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. 
Off stage. Okay. Oh, yep. no fat footstool. Down there. Oh, yeah. He could do it again. All right. No, he's, he's too needed. far. Yeah. All right. It's game two going to Komori Kiri. An overextension from Larry Love leading to his low percent downfall. Whoa. What? What a game, dude. What and I, a game. When I saw the down air from Larry Lur, the first thing that came to my mind was immediate fair foot stool, right? But the fact that Komori Kiri had the presence of mind to just like DI wave, jump back even, right? Smart. He knew. He was like, I'm, I'm in a precarious situation right now, but I'm going to find my way out. And he did. So now we're going to Battlefield where, you know, the higher the percents go, the scary it is to actually deal with Larry's jabs, right? I've seen him get these sick tech chases with the jabs, so now percents get higher. You see what I'm talking about. And he starts converting those tech chases into up airs. So it's really good to be for Larry to be on this stage. Yeah, we haven't actually seen too much of this stage so far in this top eight. True. Yeah, Larry La. I said though, Battlefield is a stage that Cloud himself thrives on as well. His ability to juggle across the platforms is definitely uh, augmented. Oh. oh, almost getting the up air to finishing touch. Seeing that he was on that top platform, I totally understand where Komori Kiri is coming from, right? Yes, definitely. Oh, probably expecting a jump out from Komo. Nutsule? Nope. Okay. Trying to drag him down with a forward air. Actually out of range of a grab too with that up tilt. Larry, early and high. Another excellent cross slash coming out from Komori Kiri. Just like you said, man, those aerial ones, he's so on point when it comes to it. Larry scouting an aerial option right there from Komori Kiri, but not quite getting the up smash. That you can see right now, Komori Kiri deliberately didn't have his limit fully charged just so that he'd still have access to that regular cross slash. Side being straight into center, wants to get out of that ledge. Homo, totally fine with burning that blade beam. Oh, Como saying, all right, not today. No forward smash for you. I like the idea. It's definitely something that, it's something that you see from the Sheiks as well. Yeah. Cross out back air into the forward smash. Try and get the kill. Not even a back throw situation right here. We, we actually had a Larry just go for the down throw. Maybe he wants a tech chase on the platform. Want to see a second ledge roll from Komori Kiri. Oh. That was an errant up smash. Komori Kiri, perfect shielding right now, these side B attempts. Again, Komo. one, but no punish this time. Okay. Larry probably trying to keep it a little bit safer here. All right, nice get up with the limit cross slash. You know, he is definitely nearing the end of this stock, so it makes sense to burn it in that situation. And now, because he has access to limit charge, once again, he can force Larry's approaches. As we see right here, just holding back with that limit. Just getting these hits here and there. Expanding this lead bit by bit. Dude, that was like dash attack range, and Komori Kiri almost start coming and just down tilted in response. So smart. That intangibility with the legs too is scary. Uh-oh. I thought we are about to see one of those, like, those gifties that I get to see when it comes to Fox on this stage, especially starting off with down air. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Komori Kiri just getting out of there. Flipped once again by the illusion. Komori Kiri having a little bit of a hard time probably resetting neutral. Larry just closing this gap spectacularly. That was... Oh! Oh my goodness! That was enough? Wow. Stealing that game away with those up airs. What a comeback from Larry Lur right there. Wow, dude. I just I just saw Korean. Korean, a big fan of Fox, of course, putting his fist up. He's like, yes. Dude. Those up tilts, man. The up airs, right? La Larry just he, he stayed steadfast. Didn't fall prey to losing that final stock. You know, Komori Kiri looking cleaner and cleaner as each battle just rage on. Yes. We're going back. And, I mean, not quite the worst decision because you did say that Cloud, not bad on this stage as well. So, we'll see what happens with Komori Kiri here. And once again, we're seeing the boxing with the jab from both players. Komori Kiri coming out on top. Yep. Cl you know, Cloud's jab, not as fast as, the, uh, as like, you know, Fox or even like Captain Falcon, Zeus, Samus, Little Mac, but still the range, right? Yeah. And the mix-up potential that you get off of it too, since it's like a wrecker. Yeah. And on a character with such speed, mobility, and range as Cloud, having that fast frame four jab really kind of 
deleting his kit. Oof. So much of the damage that he's got this game so far has just been from that jab. But Larry answering back with a big string of his own. Looking like he wanted to probably drag Homura Kiri down onto the platform to get an easy up smash or down smash Texas. Good right. by Como. Finally uh, yeah. punishing that yeah. illusion back onto the stage. Nope. Doesn't get it that time, but he's uh, close. I was about to say he takes them. No one get him. Oh, he hated. Pushing him off to the side with the dash attack, keeping that stock. Two apiece here, too. Good DI on that one. Oh. Oh, Tipper. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. Walks up to him and just grabs. Definitely something that Como wasn't expecting in that scenario. And a lot of times, top players will just take that and deal with, like, recovering back on stage, you know? Very, because, very nice from Larry. Yeah, so good. Larry's like, okay, I, I get it. Oh, on scary. The platform. Oh, Jabs. Interesting. That dash attack will take the stock. 38% on Kamori Kiri. Potentially lose his final stop of the tournament. He has to make something magical happen here. Yep, and already trying to put Larry up on the platforms using that up throw. But here is Larry. Okay. Running circles right now around Komori Kiri. Beautiful stuff. And understanding that Komori Kiri probably wanted to see if he can connect the grab. That's scary. Komori Kiri, DI off. Smart. Okay. Not too far off, though. He wants to be able to keep that element coming back on stage. And that was a really, really uh, nice landing back onto stage by Komori Kiri. The yeah. jump is gone. Uh oh. Back on the ground once again. Komori Kiri only with one. Remember, Larry Lur on the verge. Is this that the end? No! That is it. Great job, Larry Lur moving on to the Losers Finals. What a way to close the set. Scouting that out. That was 